This is Jacques Fogier. Seemingly like every other boy, he wakes up at 7.30. The difference is, Jacques isn't going to school today. He is just going to stay home. Distressed by the death of his father, he has stayed at home for over four months, confused and troubled. His father was a chef who never came home until late at night. He was rarely able to see his father when he was alive, and now he was gone forever. Tu as deux messages. Premier message. Hey Jacques, it's been a while now. I'm sorry about the death of your dad, but you have to move on. Everybody at school misses you. I'm going to go see a movie. If you're interested, please at least call. Deuxième message. Jacques, sorry I couldn't tell you in person, but I had to leave early to get to work. Um, Look, it, it's fine that you're not going to school and that you're going to stay home, but you, you have to do something. Maybe if you could clean up Dad's study. It's been a complete mess since he died, or, or do the laundry, or, or head down to the market. I, I know you'd rather not do anything, but seriously, you have to do something, okay? Bye. With nothing else to do, Jacques went up to his dad's study to find it in a total state of disarray. Inside one of the books, Jacques noticed a letter dated June 18th, 1989. He realized it must have been from his grandfather to his father. My son, I have seen your passion for taste and flavor. I have seen that you know your path. When I first came to France in 1966, I had only 10 francs. And with that, I bought this book. I first sold to people on the street, and when I could afford enough to buy a space, I bought one and I started the restaurant. Time and time again, this book has helped me, and now I think it is time to pass this book on to you. I hope that this will help you, and that someday you will take our restaurant to the top of its potential, and will do even more with it. I love you, and I hope that this book will help you. Happy 21st birthday, Dad. P.S. Always remember, the greatest gift you can ever conjure is relieving people of daily hunger. Still confused, Jacques flipped through the pages of the book and noticed a dogged page. It was a recipe for vegetable stew. Though the book was old, the worlds were still clearly visible. Jacques didn't know what to do, but he knew that this recipe meant a lot to his dad and his grandfather.
soup, isn't it? Dad? My dad used to make that soup for me when I was your age. Can I try it? Sure. My natural Jacques. I always hoped you would find it. Find what? In 1966, basic guide to home cooking. My dad gave it to me when I was about your age. It was one of the first things he bought when he moved here to France. All he had was 10 franc. He bought that book, started his restaurant, and became prosperous. You know, my dad, he always used to say, the greatest thing that you can conjure is relieving people of their daily hunger. It's a catchy line, and, and the soup is good, really good. But I, I don't, I don't get it. What's gonna stop me from not doing the same thing tomorrow? You're right. What's gonna stop you from doing it? nothing tomorrow? But do you want to live the rest of your life that way? Do you want to sit around? and do nothing because of my death when you can be out doing so many other things living I guess you're right Jacques got into bed. Tomorrow would be a new day.